Welcome, I'm the Deadwood Jedi. This is gonna be a sponsored video for Infinite Magic Raid. Now, if you like gotcha games, like I know you do, because you watch my channel, this might be a game that you're gonna wanna check out. Uh, I recommend it. I think it's gonna be a very fun gotcha style game. Uh, it is very similar to many of the games that you are already familiar with, uh, but it has its own style to it, obviously, and a lot of content already available, not to mention some really nice player-friendly uh, you know, modes of gameplay in here and a variety of them. So if you're interested in trying Infinite Magic Raid, I'm gonna direct you down to the pinned comment or the description of this video where there's gonna be a link to download the game for free. And of course, just by downloading the game, you're gonna be eligible to participate in this star event they have going on right now with a $100,000 prize pool available for you. Uh, but that's not all you're gonna get, right? You log in for the first seven days and you're gonna be able to get an awesome legendary champion space. And she does a lot of turn meter control, which I absolutely love. Of course, that's the kind of champion that I like. Uh, so She's really great and I use her in my team. And then of course, if you log in for 14 days, you're gonna be able to get Margarita, uh, who is another great legendary champion who does a lot of single target damage, really strong champion. So you already you get a really strong start to your account with two legendary champions just by playing for the first two weeks. And then of course they have a code IM777, which will give you some shards, some gems, uh, some gold, and that's all going to give you a great jump start to your account so that you're not starting at the bottom, you're starting ahead of everybody else. But what I'd like to do is go ahead and take you through the game itself, walk you through the different stages, the campaigns, the dungeons, the guilds that are available in here, some of the gear choices that you have to make as well, as well as some of the, you know, the player friendly kind of uh, auto functions in this game, which I think are really neat and innovative. So I wanna walk through all that with you guys, showcase this game in a very, you know, quick and easy sort of manner. We're not gonna dive in super deep into the mechanics, but we will take a general look at how the game is played. And one of the best parts about this game is there's a lot of depth of strategy, right? Formulating your team, using the right champions, the right gear sets, the way that you have them structured and have them built out is really gonna have a major impact on the gameplay depending on what area of game you're actually trying to accomplish as well. So even though we're gonna give a nice overview, there's so much more underneath that as to dive in and learn about and discover as you play Infinite Magic Raid. Infinite Magic Raid has a very complete storyline to it where you're a party of adventurers trying to save the world from this evil god, Lehem. He threatens the entire Lowe's continent, terrorizing the people, and as you go through the campaign, you're going to learn those stories, those customs, those cultures of these different peoples that are trying to make their way through. And of course, along the way, you're battling evil, trying to slay these bad guys and become victorious in the end, saving the world. Uh, so it's a nice, fun little adventure that tells the story along the way and you're going to uncover some secrets about this world uh discover new areas of the game and in all it's actually a pretty fun little storyline now of course to carry you through this battle you're going to have to obviously collect various champions cultivate them so that they are strong enough to complete the challenges that you're going to meet along the way and by doing that you should be able to become victorious and obviously there's many different modes of gameplay through this and as with all gotcha games like this one getting the champions is a key part of victory and the champions are varied with a bunch of different skills which makes crafting your team really important uh you know you can't utilize the same team for every every area of the game they're just not going to be as effective so understanding the strengths of the weaknesses of each champion figuring out how to utilize them is going to be really important so let's take a look at one of the coolest champions I have on my account, Space, who is that daily login reward champion you get for logging in on the first seven days. I absolutely love this champion. I like her a lot, been using her. Um, but she does single target damage and reduces turn meter. She also has a chance to reduce speed, right? While increasing speed of your allies, it has a turn meter boost every turn, basically, or at the beginning of each wave and has an HP restore as well as some more turn meter stuff. So she's a lot of a turn meter can kind of control champion, speeding your team up. And as we all know, speed is the most important stat. The more attacks you make, the less the enemy takes and you deal more damage. So I love champions like this and I think she's actually fantastic, but there's so many different champions. They have 
all their different abilities and skills, right? As you can see here, we've got a huge campaign map that you need to go through. And not only do you need to go through all of this, just to unlock the different stages to be able to farm some better gear, but they also come in a variety of different difficulties. I haven't even touched hell yet, um, as that's a whole nother level to get into. But, you know, common, hard, nightmare, and then hell at the very end. There's a lot of content available there just getting through the campaign. And the campaign isn't easy, right? It is actually a bit of a challenge, which is kind of nice. And that's where you're going to get the storyline as well. There's also a whole dungeon button down here where you can see all of these different dungeons where you can get, you know, special rewards, special items and gear and stuff for your, for your champions. What I think is one of the cooler areas of this game, the space temple right now, I haven't unlocked a lot of it as I've, you know, haven't been playing very long to see a whole bunch of it, but this is kind of a different area of the game where you can see it's this like mini map, right? You got all this cutscene stuff here where they're talking to us and they're all you know trying to sneak around in these dungeons basically and steal rewards is kind of the idea behind this and if you're successful it's great all right you get some you get some fun rewards but it's a fun little gameplay it's a little bit different from you know your typical gotcha games as far as like the game mode where you kind of move around on this mini map here and you can activate different traps or you know break them as it seems be or you can fight the enemies as they come along and try and get all the treasure available for you. So there's more than a few ways to go about doing this. And in general, I find it to be a pretty fun experience. And then there you have the guild boss, as I spoke of earlier. So you join a guild and basically you can challenge the guild boss. And when you win, you can see you're going to get some significant rewards, including books and shard drops, which are really, or I'm sorry, scrolls and shard drops, which are really important for being able to get more champions and level up the ones that you have and make them really useful. So we can take a look at the guild boss here. I'll go to on the very first level because my team's not that strong. I'll be honest, um, not everything's anywhere near where it should be, but I'll just bring in the five champions I have leveled up here as I've kind of been going through the campaign and dungeons and stuff. And you can see what we do. We're not, I, we're, it's, not a, it's not a guild boss attack team, right? Uh, but this is how it works, right? We can see the guild boss is making their attacks and you can see their skills right up here where it deals basic damage, it has an acid spray, has immune to speed reduction, right? Passive skills, right? Another earthquake ability right there. And then uh, another passive skill, immune to current turn control effects and whatnot. Typical boss stuff, right? Um, but you can see, right, this is this is what we do. Try to get through, survive as long as we possibly can, and just deal as much damage as we can to help out the clan take down the guild boss. Uh, are we going to be super successful? No, but one of the cool things you can actually see, the HP bar is going down pretty significantly. This is the first level, but... You know, clearly my team's not super weak. We're doing enough damage to be of notice, and I think that's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, that's something. One of the other things I should point out here, we do have this auto button, right, which we're running right now. I can turn it off and manual everything, obviously, but I prefer using auto. We can also do it on one time speed so we can see the full animations, or two times speed so we can get a blend of both animation and speed, or they actually have a four times speed, which is what I've been running, which can make the runs and the work that you're doing go a lot faster. And of course, it's not just PvE stuff. They do have PvP content too, including the arena. They have Guild Arena here, um, which I don't think is open right now, but we've got Advanced Arena, which is basically three teams uh, going against each other in succession. Uh, so you can put your team together for that. You have a Classic Arena team as well, right? Where you can compete here. Uh, and hopefully we can maybe maybe see a game with that. Yeah, so I can challenge a team. Oh, we'll see about this. this. is probably a very tough fight. I will most likely lose, but we can try it and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, there's they have this as well, which is fun. So if you like PvP kind of content, you can definitely go into this type of game as well. Um, and I'm just I'm I don't know if I know the skills super well. well this is a big turn meter skill. This one's a heal. So let's. Let's do this ability and reduce some turn meter. Boom, perfect. We have an AOE stun skill, I believe, here. So we got a couple of stuns out there, which is great. Uh, they're obviously stronger than me since my entire team seems like they're about to die, but that's okay, that's okay. Not, not a problem. Uh, we'll try and lock them down here with some AOE stuff right there, right? We've got you know different debuffs going on them, different buffs out there as well. And we can go ahead and try a little ally protection, keep our team alive, get some healing. 
there's going to be a full cleanse of our team, right? Or our one champion at least. Boom, right there. Perfect. Uh, I don't think we need the healing, so we can just go ahead and attack somebody. Let's try another attack here. Big AoE. Love it. So yeah, we can just go ahead and click auto. I don't have a lot of strong damage dealers, a lot of control champions, and probably probably a weakness of my squad. But you can kind of see how it goes, right? Uh, you know, the composition of your team is going to matter. Like the way that I'm bringing in certain champions to heal, certain champions to do damage, certain ones to focus on the turn meter, right? I have space here, kind of controlling the speed of the fight. I've got uh, this champion over here. Let's see if I can actually highlight him. So Gru is keeping my team alive with that ally protection and that healing, right? I've got this guy, right, bringing in the punishment right here. He's my big damage dealer, even though he's a defensive-based champion, which is perfect, right? Uh, this lady is, gonna, is doing a lot of control effects, right? Really limiting what the enemy can do with that AoE. And then again, space here is dealing with the uh, turn meter. And then I've got my little angel helping to keep us alive, bringing revive in case somebody does go down, but also bringing healing, cleansing for you know, any really bad debuffs, that sort of thing. So there's, uh, you know, bringing in your team, making sure you know how they work, definitely has a huge impact. And obviously, you know, that comes down to, you know, everything as far as like speed tuning your team or making sure you have the right gear on, all that's gonna have a massive importance on your team. I think there's a couple cool things about this game that not every game like it does, right? One of them, I think this is actually a big one, is you can actually set auto battles, right? Um, let's do let's do this at a normal difficulty level. So I'm actually going to do this right now. So I'm just going to do hard. I don't think it really matters, right? Um, I just want to kind of showcase this, but we go in here. I can set a multi-battle, and I can set as many as I want, and I can even designate what level of gear I want to sell. So like... I want to sell, uh, I think, probably the common, the rare, the elite, and anything that's four star and under. I, mean, I don't know. Well, why not, right? We don't really need the gear. So you'll notice down here, it's actually going to be running these battles while I'm doing other stuff in this game, which I think is pretty cool. You also have this dispatch, which is this kind of nice passive uh, way to get resources. All I do is assign somebody to them. And look at the rewards. I'm getting shards. Uh, these are new champions I'm going to be getting just by doing this every day right and just doing it periodically those are what five minute cooldowns three minute cooldowns it's not like these are long cooldowns that we're going through here and i can do this for all this multiple times in a day and let it kind of do its work while i'm doing anything else in the game so it's a very nice passive way to get some rewards as you're going through right but i thought what we could do is while those auto runs are happening i can show you of course how do you get your champions the most important thing in this game right how do you get your champions well of course, you're going to be opening these wish stones, right? And basically, you know, you have refined wishes, you have excellent wishes, supreme wishes, and you can see the drop rates right here, right? You can see what they are. You're going to get, you can get epic champions at the high level from the refined ones. You can get legendary champions at the high level from the excellent, and you have a better chance on the supreme. Um, but the cool thing about this game, which a lot don't offer, is you do have guaranteed options of getting legendary. So if I wish 50 times, I will get a legendary hero at the end of it. So that pity system not only is included in the game, but it's up front and center for you. So, you know, you just pull these shards and or these the stones and make these wishes. And all of a sudden, you can get some more champions and see what you can pull, which is always a fun little experience, right? That's why we like the gacha games. You got to collect them all. We like the endorphin rough, rush, uh, rush. We'll do a 10 pop to finish it off here. See what we get to pull. What did we get? Uh, look at all these new champions. Oh, another legendary. Yes. All right. Oh, we got another one. Wow, that's actually really, really impressive. We got two new ones. Oh, and this one's new. So that's why, see, you notice that first one was a dupe. Oh, we got another legendary. Wow. <laughs> Streamer luck, apparently. Crazy. Gunner. Oh, super cool. All right. So we got a couple of different new champions. So like this first one already had this champion. This is that Margarita champion, that uh, login uh, champion that you can get after 14 days. Um, so we didn't go through the animations because it wasn't new. But even in a 10 pop, we got the cool animation, which is awesome, honestly, uh, when we did get a new legendary champion. That's great. Oh, I love that. I think that's so cool. 
So that's the video. Hopefully you got a nice overview of Infinite Magic Raid, a game I think is pretty darn fun and definitely worth giving a try if you're on the fence of whether you want to play it or not. As a reminder, that link to it is in the pinned comment and in the description of this video. So make sure to go down there, click on that and download Infinite Magic Raid and give it a try today. You will get that promo code that's down there as well. So you can use that to get that nice little jump start, pick up space, get a nice free legendary to begin. Maybe in two weeks you get margarita too and now all of a sudden you got a heck of a team going on um so i just want to point all those things out for you guys um hopefully you enjoyed this video and till next we meet i'm the deadwood jedi infinite magic raid play to slay